when we have uh, isotope, when we, when we talk about isotope, we also are curious to find out how did the scientists or the researchers ever come up with the idea of isotope, how they discover it. So I'm going to present to you uh, a basic simplified version of what really happens in a machine called mass spectrometer. All right. So now I want you to begin your investigation by thinking of a container. I would have uh, 25, 25 pieces of uh, blue ping pong balls and then 75 pieces of uh, red ping pong ball. Okay, It's all mixed up, it's just put together then you will see the colors. All right. So what I want to say is uh, this container represents a sample of uh, chlorine gas or chlorine sample of chlorine chlorine uh, atoms come together okay a lot of chlorine atoms maybe 100 pieces of atoms right so what really happened is uh, I'll give you a simplified view of a mass spectrometer the end of this they have a recorder and they connect to a supercomputer or PC it can't be PC but I just call it PC super personal computer right so what really happened is uh, this sample doesn't matter if it is red or blue but there are many hundred pieces okay i just draw it with black but you know that they have different colors but at first we wouldn't know so what happened is i uh, apply electric field and then i apply magnetic field electric field is to give, make them move but magnetic field is to deflect them according, according to their mass okay is to deflect them according to the mass so what happens when you deflect all these uh, all these atoms or all these uh, charged particle they will travel different direction okay so it might be but it's proven that 75 percent end up here end up this region and record it and here they deviated in another way so they end up here 25 percent so the one with the 75 percent and the one with 25 percent each of them represent uh, what they found out to be 35 cl chlorine 35 and this one is a uh, chlorine 37 all right so the chlorine 35 is much more common and it was found that they have greater uh, they have more chlorine 35 than chlorine 37 so this tells us that uh, a chlorine sample consists of two types of chlorine one is a heavier chlorine and the other one is a lighter chlorine all right so because the computer screen will show something like this it will show a uh, composition right like this show you the graph first the graph would have something like this this one 25 percent this one 75 percent this one is a chlorine 35 and this one is a chlorine 37 this is what was what was discovered right so you can say this 35 percent and here is a 75 percent right so in periodic table you might notice that cl has a relative atomic mass of 35.5 how do we get this figure if you look at this calculation uh if you have chlorine 37 with 25 percent chlorine 35 is 75 percent so you can do some calculation and this is what you get when you use 25 over 100 times 37 and 75 over 100 times 35 so you will get 35.5 okay what's so What's so special about this? How can we compare these two? How can we uh, identify these two? You see, this one, if I put kg here, it will give us some idea of how different they are or how similar they are. Okay, Let's use a different color. All right? Just example, they have a unit of kg. Of course, they don't have a unit of kg. But I just put this to let you understand. So it seems like chlorine 35 is lighter than chlorine 37. Alright, so they differ in their physical property. 
differ in the physical property. What are the physical property like mass, density, melting point, boiling point, rate of diffusion, whether they travel fast or not? Okay, rate of diffusion. But they are similar in what? Similar in chemical property. I have always mentioned that the valence electron determine the chemical characteristics. Okay, the valence electron. How do you get valence electron of chlorine? You see both also having 287. This one also 287. Alright, so 7 determines the chemical characteristics. Okay, so this one should be in the group 7 or we call it formally as group 17.